Alright guys, how's it going? This is the tutorial for Billie Jean. And this is on my Urban Echoes Volume 1 album. And if you want to get the tablature and sheet music to follow along, there's a link in the description section below. And then you'll see all the fingering laid out perfectly. Thank you, Kirby. You're the best. She's my transcriber. Alright then, here we go. I'm going to perform this and then we'll break it down. Billie Jean, let's go.
All right, guys, that's how you play Billie Jean. Let's look at the key information moving forward. To state the obvious, I have a capo on the second fret. I'm in standard tune in, and I also have a thumb pick on to help with the muted bass lines and articulation and all that. So we're also in F sharp minor, the original key, but uh, I, because I've got the capo on the second fret, I'm gonna be addressing everything as if we're in E minor. Okay, so knowing all that, let's have a look at how I play the intro. All right, guys, I hope you're ready to have a look at this now. We're gonna go in some really crazy territory because we're gonna have some moving bass lines on top of some chord stabs and possibly if you're feeling ambitious we're going to have a percussive beat on it too so it's got that iconic bass line okay but the way i'm doing it i'm doing it like this Okay, and with that then my thumb is playing it with a muted bass line. Okay, and then with the chords on top. Okay, and then we work them both together. Okay, so then we add in that percussive hit. Okay, let me do that slower. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that is the intro. Now let's have a look at the A section. All right, guys, let's have a look at this A section. There's a lot of moving parts going on here, so we're gonna have to pay extra attention to detail. Okay, so we're coming out of this intro. And here's the theme. Let's take it from there. Our middle finger is pretty much playing all the bass line there. Okay, so now that my middle finger is doing that, it actually gives my index finger, my ring finger, my pinky finger the freedom to play the melody and phrase it as best as I can. So let's have a look at how I do that. You can see that I'm letting these ring on here. I'm trying to make the most out of what I can here. So there's a lot of ringing notes going on. Okay, now I get to this A minor chord. And the high E is ringing on when I hit this. So. And you can see my thumb is playing the bass line. Okay, and then on top of that. And then also, you can see that my index finger and my middle finger, when I play those chords, they're coming down and season the sustain to make it kind of staccato-y. And then the very last one I let ring on, so. And then back to the intro. Okay, then I play it again. Let's have a look at that note there for a second. My thumb pick is coming right underneath the E string. 
and then my middle finger is coming down hammering on on the seventh fret low e so that gives it just a bit of a aggressive pop there so again i hope you see that back to a minor and then i do that again Yeah, so I do that quite a lot. It's a cool, cool little technique there. And then I go into the B section. So let's have a look at that. Okay, let's have a look at the B section now, the pre-chorus. We're going from a C major seven to a D. So, okay, and you can see I'm using the my index finger for the bass line there. And I'm coming down with a percussive hit on my right hand. And I'm also linking my middle and ring finger on the right hand together as well. So I got that claw in effect. Okay, and I'm hammering on. And then I get to this E shape. I'm using the bass line there. Then E minor here. And that's an E minor, D, and E minor here. And I've got my index finger free to get to this next shape here. Okay. hammering on that E minor and I get to A and then I have this B7 here with the bass line and I come down here and my fingernails actually strum down there okay play this slowly for you. One, two, three, four. Now let's look at the chorus for Billy Jean. We're basically playing the same bass line, but just changing the melody over. So here we go. One, two, three, four. So obviously we're ending the phrases with those chord stabs. Okay, so the first thing we need to look at is I'm sliding into the fifth fret on the B string, getting that E there, and then following up with an open E, open E string. So, and then I'm coming down with the, um, the G string, 7th fret, getting that D. So I'm making the most out of those notes there, letting them all ring on together. And as you can see, I'm utilizing the open D string as a bass line, but I'm also coming down on the 5th fret A string, getting a D note there as well. And I'm doing the same with the uh, low E, getting that A there, so. 
I'm doing a little bit of that too. So let's do that again. Okay, so I'm getting to this A, letting the B string ring on, and my thumb is coming over for the bass. And I'm sliding into the seventh fret high E string there. Very similar moves as the verse. Back to the uh, A. Okay, let me play that slowly for you. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that is the chorus. Now let's have a look at the next A section. All right, so here comes the second A section, which is vastly similar to the first, except there's a couple of variations. So I'll call out those variations when we get to them, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So the variation is this. All right, and there's a bit of a stretch going on here for that bass line, along with this. So together. And then we come down on the chords. Um, So that's, and then we hit the octave going down with our nails. Okay, so, um, so that's the first variation. So here comes the second variation now. I'm going to delay the melody and change the chord stabs over as well. So check this out. One, two, three, four. Okay, so if you want to break that down a little bit more. Yeah, that, that's a pull off there. And I continue with the bass. So to sum this A section up, I'm basically just changing the chord voicings and the phrasing, but it's all the same technique as the previous A section. All right, let's have a look at the second B section and its variations. I'm basically doing the same right hand technique, but I'm also utilizing some harmonic voicings as well. So let's have a look at how I do that. One, two, three, four. back into the chorus. So let's have a look at that. We are going from this C shape here 
all right and using that same right hand technique as the first b section coming down percussively okay and then we grab this uh, ring finger and hit the seventh fret b string so yeah then we're hammering on onto the eighth fret and then come down to the fifth and we're clawing the the b and the e string there and then we do that again do that e minor okay and the another variation is i come down here on the ninth fret for a bass line that descends back to the eighth so we're going like c sharp c so so then back to a minor and instead of going to b7 like i did in the first b section i actually go to d so check out how i get there Okay, so I have this open E and then come down on the seventh fret high E string, so and the bass line is uh, alternate there. So let me play that again. And that's basically how you do the second B section. Okay, let's have a look now at the variation like I do on the chorus, the second chorus. One, two, three, four. Okay, how I play that, I'm basically hitting the low E string and then hammering on the seventh fret. And then I'm coming down. I'm kind of flicking with my middle finger on my right hand. And I'm getting the fourth fret G string, seventh fret high E string. I'm getting that octave. My thumb's doing the bass line. But uh, I'm also getting the so and then continuing on with the groove okay okay guys let's have a look at this middle eight breakdown and some of the licks that I'm incorporating here. Um, I'm basically doing the same clawing technique on my right hand where my middle finger and my ring finger are linked together. So I'm playing out of this. Okay, so I'm I'm opening up the, the B string there and then hammering on from an A to a B on the G string while pumping that bass. Okay, so. And then I double up with my thumb and index finger. Okay, so. And then come down on the octave, which is those E's there. I do this little lick here which is kind of like an Andy McKee kind of move I, I stole from him get that extra funk you know and then I'm kind of like utilizing like hitting plucking up on the D string and then coming back down with percussive hits on the neck with the left hand. Okay, and then after that, I come up to A and work 
use pentatonic kind of licks here. Um, and then back into the rhythm. And that lick there is basically just a kind of like a hammer on pull off. And I'm doing a little bit of bend in there for the freezing. And then back into the riff. And then here comes the cool part. That's a bit of a banjo roll. And then I get these harmonics. So I play the bass line, an A drone, and I come in with the harmonics here. Okay, so. And when I do that, after I hit the high E, my thumb comes down onto the strings as a percussive hit, but it also positions me to hit, hit the next note. It's falling on the G string, and then I'm picking up the harmonic on the G string. And then I'm accenting the A harmonic on the 12th fret, which is also given off a percussive effect. And then I hammer on on the 7th fret. So let me play that slowly. One, two, three, four. And then I play the chorus one more time. And that's how you play those variations. Okay, it's the home stretch now. We're gonna get that last lick in there. And we're basically finishing with the chorus. And we tag it. So I'm descending the bass line. Okay, we're going B, A, G. And then back to an open A. And I play this leg. I basically pop the string there and then hammer on, pull off. I'm basically working these shapes here. Okay, I hope you're getting that. Check the tab. <laughs> and I like to like hold the pick here uh, like a flat pick and get close to the bridge here to get a harsher tone. Okay, and then I pull down, uh, pull off from um, C to the second fret, or three, two, zero, and then hit the G there. So, um, and then I quote the take five melody after hitting the G, I slide up to the seventh fret, and then I open the E string and then I slide up and hit these harmonics on the 12th fret. And then hammer on the second fret, high E string, and then uh, hammer on and pull offs. I do that little trill there. So let me... Um, minor just like subtle dynamics but I think it sounds cool so let me play that one more time um, the 
descend. Let that A note ring on. And then slide. And then sometimes when I'm live, I might I do that. So there we go. All right, guys, that's everything you need to know on how to play Billie Jean. Thanks so much for joining me on this tutorial. And if you're having any struggle at all, there's a link to the tablature in the description section below. So check that out. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit that notification button where you'll be updated on future videos. Thanks again and God bless you all. Cheers.